Welcome everybody to Ann Arbor, Michigan, home of the number one team in the country, the Michigan Wolverines. As we have a great game between the Northwestern Wildcats and the Michigan Wolverines, of course, here is the star players we got four for Michigan is Stanley Doyle. And of course, here is the starting lineups both for the Northwestern Wildcats. A couple juniors and some seniors for them. And of course, the four freshmen and Lucas Perry for the Michigan Wolverines. Michigan is coming into this game 14-0. and zero, And here is to set the tempo, the keys to the game to see which team can come out with the victory. As we will send it down corporate tip-off between Michigan and Northwestern. This is the very first matchup of the season for both teams as we are underway here in Ann Arbor. This is Michigan's very first Big Ten opponent to start Big Ten play. Here is Lucas Perry. Pass down to Richard Pope, the freshman. Back out to Perry. He'll shoot a deep three. Is good. From downtown is Lucas Perry for three. To start the Wolverines as their first Big Ten opponent. They will also play Northwestern next week. As they have two of the first three matchups of them and their Big Ten possessions. Michigan looking to play tight defense here. Here's a guy in the corner. Kicks down to the big guy. Number 54. The fadeaway shot misses. Here's a fast break by number 15 for Northwestern. Gets the easy layup to go. Here's the number 22. Oh, what a crazy acrobatic layup. Here's Benton. The defense there. Number 15 with the good move on him. He puts it in. It's a three-point game. That is a three, and the corner is good from downtown. Here's Richard Pope crossing over. He'll shoot a mid-range jump shot. It's good. 11-5 is the score. Here's the inbound for Michigan. Here is Lucas Perry. As Perry will go all the way, Ural stepping his way for the layup is good. 15-7, the Wolverines are down. Here is James Stewart all the way for the right-handed layup is good. 15 to 9. Here is a shot by Northwestern is good. Here is a good tip and stolen. Here is Darius Morris on the layup on the fast break. Gets it to go. 17-11. Here's a shot by Northwestern is good. 19-11. That's a jump shot by Richard Pope, the freshman. 19-15. Here is a Lucas Perry for three as he nails it in. The three-point game, Novak. Novak will go all the way for the layup as he nails it. So one-point game. Perry, nice dish down to Stanley Doyle, the freshman with the easy layup. So one-point game. Here is a three by number 22 is good from downtown. It's a four-point game. Easy layup by Northwestern again as they lead by six. Here is a pass to James Stewart and one opportunity for the old-fashioned three-point play. Here is a deep three right there by Lucas Perry. Nails in the three. In the final seconds of the first half, Perry stepping back. He will shoot a three at the buzzer. It's good for the Wolverines as we are all tied at halftime here in Ann Arbor. Northwestern. Looking to try to upset Michigan to be the very first team this season. Can they do it? We'll find out in the second half of the first half. It is a tie at 30 here at Ann Arbor, Michigan. And a look at our game summary will give you an idea of how these two teams are stacking up against one another so far. We can see here how both teams are doing with the keys they identified at the outset. Welcome to the start of the second half between Michigan and Northwestern. The leading points for guys is Lucas Perry with 14 points. James Stewart with three rebounds. And of course, Lucas Perry dishing out to assist. Here is number 22. He kicks it to number 54. This is Michigan's first game in the Big Ten so far this season. Here's number three with it. Quiet first half from him. As we reach 10 on the shot clock here. And the first possession for Northwestern. That shot's going to be blocked by Lucas Perry. Here is J uh, Richard Pope in transition. He'll kick it out to Derek Benton. Here is a pick and roll. Here is Benton. He will do a fadeaway jump shot. It's good. Here is a shot by Richard Pope. Is good. 
Michigan's up by one. Perry. Perry go all the way for the layup is good. It's a one-point game. Here's a pass to Richard. Pope is good. The assist by Lucas Perry. It's a three-point game. Pick and roll. Here is Richard Pope. Another jump shot is good. It's a five-point Michigan game. Here is a pass again to Richard Pope for the easy layup is good. It's a seven-point Wolverine lead. Here's a pass down low. The great puffing. Oh, reverse layup. Dunk. It's a five-point game. Benton. Derek Benton. Nice dish off to Stanley Doyle with the layup. Here is a beautiful play by number three. It's a five-point game. Shot clock running down. Here is a mid-range jump shot. It's good. Five and a half to go in the second half. Here's the pass down with the flush as he throws it down. Here's a nice pass there for Northwestern as they take the lead. It's a one point Northwestern lead. Here is a shot by them again is good. Michigan down by three. Here's Northwestern. That's a steal by Lucas Perry. Here they go in transition. Perry nice pass to Richard Pope but the shot is good. Under a minute and a half to go. Perry, wide open for the lead is good by Michigan. It's a two-point lead. Under a minute to go for the Wolverines. Richard Pope all the way for the dunk. It's a four-point Wolverine lead. That shot by Northwestern misses. But number three grabs the board and puts it in. Here are free throws for Lucas Perry with the one and one. He will get one more opportunity to make a Michigan lead go up to four points. He will get one more opportunity. The jump shot is good. Four point lead. Final three seconds. Northwestern will shoot a three. And the Michigan Wolverines survive another scare as Michigan improves to 16 and 0. Excuse me, 15 and 0 on the season. The player of the game, of course, is Lucas Perry with 21 points. And five assists as Chris Weber continues his second straight undefeated season going into Big Ten play. A great game by the Wolverines as they improve to 15-0 and, and will stay at the number one team in the country. Northwestern try all they had, but they did not come out with the victory as Michigan wins 53-49 over Northwestern. All right, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. What a win. Lucas Perry had a phenomenal game, and I'm excited, guys. Our first game in the Big Ten ends out with a dub, as you see who we guys got next time. But we're going to talk about this game, of course. Uh, Stanley Doyle had a good game. He shot four. He got four points. He was two for three from the field. Uh, of course, a couple uh, rebounds and a couple blocks, as he normally gets. Uh, James Stewart, also four points. He shot two for three as well. He missed one free throw. That and one he could have got. He did grab six boards too. Uh, Richard Pope, the freshman, of course, 18 points, eight for 15 from the field. He did dish out one assist and two turnovers, and that was about it for him. Uh, looking down, Derek Benton, only two points this game. Not nothing crazy. He did shoot one for three from the field. Dish out one assist as well and of course the main man for the day is Lavelle Lucas Perry dishing out 21 points and of course leading the way with five assists he had two turnovers and three steals for him so a great game from him Novak two points of course Morris had two as well uh, looking at Northwestern nothing crazy for them uh, they did have a couple guys who did pretty decent but outside of that nothing uh, out of this range no one, no one scored 20 points a game so uh, we did a great job defensively of just being able to stop them and uh, playing really well uh, of course for that as well so for the first time this season what I will do is I will show how the standings look for every single thing uh, first we'll start with the top 25 of course we got us number one and you can kind of see as I go down the list at, uh, at who's there of course we have Minnesota the other Big Ten team in the top 10 going at number nine we have Ohio State at number 11 who we play next game Michigan State at number 12 Illinois we got at number 16 at 10 and 4 so far this year as well uh, looking down at anybody else from the Big Ten uh, there's no one else from the Big Ten. So we got about, what, four or five teams in the top 25, which is cool. Uh, looking at Tournament Watch, uh, they have Minnesota for some reason uh, ahead of us in the automatic bids, even though we're undefeated and they're 10 and 5, as we're the best of the rest for 
whatever reason that is. Uh, so that's interesting, but whatever. We'll prove the doubters wrong, of course. So here's the Big Ten standings. Obviously, most people have only played one to two games so far. So we're currently number two right behind Purdue. Looking, and I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, just the rest of the Big Ten and the rest of the uh, the conferences. If you guys are curious, if, if your favorite team is in the Big Ten and you're curious how they're doing in the second year, if you kind of looked at them in the first year, here they are. I'll go through the rest of the list. So I'm excited for the rest of the season. Obviously, we have a tough test next game against number 11, Ohio State. That is never an easy game. I do believe that we play them twice this year. Uh, we did beat them last year, of course. Um, only playing one game. So we'll see how we can fare against them. But uh, what I will do is I will go ahead and just play a beat for the rest of the video. That's going to be all for me. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you didn't, make sure to go ahead and drop a like and leave a comment and subscribe. And hit the bell next to it for post notifications to let you know every time I do upload a video. And in the link in the description, I do have links to all my social media pages as well. And without further ado, guys, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's video. Deuces.